Hey everybody, this is Trisha here in Newegg Studios. Over on Newegg.com, we're celebrating Gametober all month long, and as part of that celebration, we want to focus on game streaming. Whether you play or watch games on Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, it's more popular than ever. Everybody's doing it. I personally stream as often as my schedule allows over on my Twitch channel, Trisha Hirschberger. Now, plenty of people are interested in becoming streamers, but where people struggle is taking that step from just getting started to something a little higher quality that attracts and builds an audience. So in this video, we're going to share a few tips to help you upgrade your stream. First, some of my best advice that I can impart to you is to personalize your stream. One of the most fun things about live streaming content is that there's no one size fits all recipe. You can customize the way that you interact with your audience through various notifications, subscriber alerts, maybe sound effects, or you can even set it up so that if someone donates a certain amount, they can share a little video for a small portion of time in the bottom corner of your screen. However you want to run your show, the possibilities are really almost endless. If you're doing special events like a charity stream and you want to have a prize wheel, that's an option. You can put a donation bar on the bottom of your stream screen to let people know not only what you're fundraising and who it's for, but also how much progress your community has made so far during the charity stream. So these are the things that can really personalize it and set you apart from the rest of the streaming populace. And now I'd like to throw it over to our very own New Egg Plays streamer, Mike. Hey everyone, I'm Mike. I'm part of the Newegg Play stream. Uh, you can check us out uh, every Tuesday and Thursday on the Newegg Twitch channel. So uh, here are some things that may help you improve your own stream if you're building a regular audience, community, anything like that. So first, remove dead air. Talking is natural. You want to talk to yourself as well and talk to your chatters. If you have no viewers, that's fine. Release that inner monologue. Start talking about what you're doing in the game. Maybe what you did that week anything. Another thing is that when you finally do get some audience members, some chatters, talk to them. Don't ignore them. They're there to find entertainment and you don't want to ignore them. They're your audience. One thing that actually may help is a streaming schedule. You know, stick to a certain date, a certain time. Users will start expecting you to stream at that certain time and date and they'll start showing up. You'll end up building regulars and you'll see some familiar faces. That's pretty nice. And Enjoy what you play. Uh, don't play with just, you know, that's popular. You know, if Fortnite's not your forte, play some Fallout. If you want to play something retro that not a lot of people do, play some Earthbound, something. Whatever you play, enjoy it. It'll reflect in your mood, and that's what people like. People don't want to see someone who's drudging through a game that they don't enjoy. Those are my tips. Hopefully that helps, and uh, you'll get a few more from my buddy JC. Okay, let's talk about improving the sound quality of your stream. We want to pick the right tool for the right job. And the best place to start is by using your ears. You want to take a critical listen of your space and try to figure out what challenges you might be dealing with. Now, there's this inclination to run out and buy a nice microphone, but a more detailed and nuanced recording tool can sometimes make audio problems worse if you don't listen first. Just like cameras, there are different kinds of microphones for different situations. If your space and your PC are both really quiet, a nice studio grade large diaphragm condenser can sound gorgeous. However, a lot of us deal with noisy neighbors or just echoes in our rooms, so don't discount the practicality of a nice radio style or stage style dynamic microphone. Likely cheaper, probably more durable. They might not sound as bright, but they're really good for ignoring noise. And you should also decide whether you want your microphone in your shot. You can set up a broadcast look with the mic pointing right in front of your face. Or you could pick a more directional mic, like a shotgun, point it towards the top of your head, just out of view of your camera. To that last point, I would highly recommend getting any microphone off of your desk and away from your keyboard. Some kind of mic stand or desk arm helps a lot. And it also frees up clutter around your streaming setup. Lastly, if you're just getting started, never underestimate the value of a good gaming headset. Even if those mics are built more for team speak than fidelity, moving the mic closer to your face will almost always outperform the microphones at a farther distance which are built into your camera. Be good to your viewers ears, and they'll love you for it. And you can check out the links in the description below for some products that might be the right fit for you. So there you go. A few tips for improving your stream quality from personalization to audience interaction to upgrading your audio. Check out the links in the description below to pick up some new streaming gear for yourself. And thank you for watching.